Wait, so how long have you been editing, Michael? Oh, I don't know. Freshman year. Freshman year? Yeah. Oh, that's good. How'd you do that? Please, what do you mean? This is actually pretty good stuff. I mean, the color, it's yeah. so smooth. Honestly, it's like one of the pretty good stuff footage. I edit documentaries, fiction films, and montages and vlogs in Inxerida. So basically everything. Um, that kind of depends on what I'm working on. Because let's say I'm working on a dance video for the dance team. Depending on how much footage there is, which there's usually about maybe an hour to two hours, I can cut it down to probably 10 minutes or so in maybe five, six hours. What got me into editing was in freshman year, our first story narrative film. Um, it was just like my first experience doing stories and all that. And I didn't really get into like film before then uh, high school because I wouldn't think I was gonna like the classroom. I just picked it because why not? And from there, after we, they talked about the films and how it should be shot. After that, we started editing, and I remember editing like the first clip, which was like very, very difficult because I had no idea there's like a bunch of things on the screen. Like over time, it got really, really easy, and I got really into it, like. Like just seeing my own footage and I, I'm like adjusting it and knowing that like I have like a screen or like a computer that I can edit like the other people's like films like I've seen. Like it, it just amazes me that I can do that in this classroom. When I'm on set, if I, I'm on set while they're filming, I can get ideas of how I want to go and I can maybe tell the director like, hey, if this is a good idea, I can do it editing, can you get me this shot? And if they do, I can work with it. Or sometimes I'll kind of think of it as like um, afterwards, like I've had editing everything, and then I'll go back and be like, oh wait, I can do this, this is so much better, and I'll go back and redo it. As I'm editing, I'm already thinking of new ideas. As soon as I'm like cutting and pasting and putting overlays and all that. About how long does it take you to finish a project? It takes me like, depending on how long, It'll be like one hour, like high quality. It'll be take me like an hour or two. You can have the best actors, but the editing will make, make or break the movie because you have to make sure that everything makes sense, everything looks, amazing, like, looks good. You also want to make sure that everything is synced and looks correct because you're, you're trying to make sure you can make the best possible movie with what you're given. What got you into editing? Um, editing was kind of something I was always kind of interested in, but I never really had the chance to get into it until I joined the film class. And the only real reason I got into it was because no one else wanted to do it. And so I was kind of like, all right, I guess I'll do it because I'm not against it. The biggest challenge I've had in editing is like receiving criticism. like. Um, if like the editing is pretty bad or, or choppy or the audio is bad, the color grading is bad, that's like, you gotta take it, not by heart, but like you gotta take it and learn it from that. Because if you don't, then you're just gonna stay like just cutting and pasting. You're not gonna learn anything from that. Because it's, it's just more than that. It's like, like color grading is super difficult and you gotta like put it for every single individual clip that's also like my hardest thing is color grading as well because I'm still learning about it. But like, but mostly receiving criticism is like the hardest part because it's more like you could get mad about what they say about your editing, but it's like you gotta learn from it. You kind of, kind of like how artists or writers, whatever, you'll kind of get a writer's block where like you don't know what you can do to like improve it. So sometimes you want to get other people's like perspectives or input because like if you're sitting and you're looking at the same thing for so long, it kind of you kind of hit a wall where you can't think anything more. I'm still editing because it's kind of fun. Like although you can kind of get a writer's block or whatever, if you're not if you're just doing it to have fun, you can kind of use it as a relaxing tool because 
you know, you can kind of mess with it and have some funny moments with it. The narrative film, that like really got me into it. Like I still do it even after that because I know from the, what they're saying, I can improve from that. And more and more and more over time, like this is my third year doing it. Well, not my third year, I've been doing it for five years, like just a little bit, like two years before this, but barely anything. But like this really got me into it because I've been improving more and I, I see it myself. And that's, that's what keeps me going, is that just improvement. And as well, like from that improvement, other people like tell me that I'm, I'm really good at editing, that they want me to edit for them. That, that brings me joy.